guys welcome back to my channel um this video is going to be about how to transition your relaxed hair to the natural hair well i'm going to start by telling you how i transitioned and um how for how long did i tra transition well i transitioned for 10 months what i had in mind was the transition for one year i just couldn't bring myself to do it because I, I got tired um, I transitioned by uh, deep conditioning my hair like almost every week so that the relaxed ends can you know come out of can come out of the um, undergrowth because I was having a lot of undergrowth growths along the line so what I did was to deep condition by using any I used any kind of conditioner I don't I didn't use expensive ones because there's no point using expensive ones. But if you have expensive ones, fine. So what I did was to, uh, I soaked in my hair with the uh, deep conditioner. And then what I did was to shampoo my hair like twice in a month. That was what I did. Like So I was shampooing my, um, shampooing my hair every other two weeks. Uh, like every, like once in two weeks, another one in two weeks. So that was what I did. And I, I didn't know anything about sulfate free shampoo so i'm going to advise you to get shampoo that has sulfate free it said that says sulfate free on the bottle any kind any kind i'm not i'm not going to um impose anything but i'm going to recommend you to use um cream of nature that's what i've been using now it's sulfate free and i, I think it's part yeah it's just it's sulfate free yeah so um i soak in my hair i soaked in my hair with um a conditioner then I was using VO5 conditioner so I just put put it in my hair I soak it for like an hour when I have time sometimes two hours and I leave it there so I soak it in my hair because I want it to be soft in my hair my undergrowth was getting so hard I could I, I couldn't handle the pain of combing out my hair and all that so that was what I did and I wash it off dry it out and then when I dry it out the next thing I do is to twist my hair, just the way it is. I just twist it. Then I had a wig that I would wear on top of it. You can do that too if you want. And another thing that I did was to do protective hairstyles. Protective hairstyles are um, hairstyles that protect the hair from the hair, from damage, from anything that anything too harsh on the hair. So I just do braids, single braids. I can sometimes I do I used to do Ghana weave, um, single braids or box braids, Senegalese twists. I did all that too because I didn't want to be comb my, combing my hair all the time. So that was what I did. And then when I take it out, when I take the hair down, I do the same thing, deep condition. Some I most of the time when I do braids, after I take it down, I shampoo the hair. I will shampoo it, deep condition it, wash it off twist it again so it can be easy for me to come back and that was what I did and you can do that so I recommend you do that because it helps it keeps your hair from getting damaged like that at first I didn't know all these things it was along the line I was watching YouTube videos on how to transition my hair before then my hair was already um, thinning out especially the size the um, edge my edges was already thinning out so I watched YouTube videos and I recommend you to watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to transition your hair they have a lot of that on on youtube so i did that and i was able to get some stuff some i was able to learn something from there and i kept on going with my um hair like that half of my hair was already natural was already turned natural the other half the other, the other end was relaxed it looks ugly tell me it's gonna it, I, i'm pretty sure that you won't like it at first it looks ugly at first, but you keep going. You keep just keep going, and then it. I don't know when, how long you want to transition your hair for. I went. I went for twelve months. I could not do it, <laughs> so I stopped at the tenth. Uh, the tenth month, and that was in October. I started. Okay, I went. I started my transitioning fully in January. In December, I was not fully. I was just contemplating. So I started fully in January. January to uh, 2013, no, January 2013, that was when I started fully and I, then I did a big chop in October 18, 2013, 
that was when the journey started. So my and when I transitioned my hair, half, like not half of my hair, like quarter of my hair was already natural. And I would recommend you go beyond ten months. Go beyond ten months. Um, try to transition for maybe a year. Some people do two years. I've heard of some people transitioning for three years. And so at the end of the day, all they, all they cut off from their hair was just a little bit because they just cut off the little relaxed end. So I recommend you go for one year. And if you can do it, go for two years. And you don't have to use expensive products. I always say that. Go for what you can afford. But make sure that your shampoo is sulfate-free. And there are cheap ones. Right right here in Houston, the one I bought was um, Cream of Nature Shampoo. Software free was just $4.99. So let's just say $5. Yeah, that was what I used. So um, that's just about it concerning um, how I transition and how I, what I recommend. So enjoy your um, transitioning journey. It's not easy, but you can do it. You can do it. So go for it. I advise you to go for it. Um, in my next video, I'm going to talk about how um, to manage after transitioning, how you can grow out your hair. I'm going to talk about that. So if you have any co questions about anything uh, concerning your natural hair, drop the comment down below. I'm going to answer you real quick. I'm that fast. And you can like this video if you like what, you, uh, what you've heard. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and by so doing, you're supporting me and you're encouraging me to do more. So please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be bringing you more and more and more videos. I think I'm going to be doing natural hair videos more than makeup. So, and this hair, how I did it, I'm going to show you in another video. It's very simple, simple, not up. up did I say it's up to? I don't know. So I just. Did that today. It's easy. I'm gonna show you next time how I did this video. I'm gonna be showing you some styles. And what I have on my lips is my favorite nude um, lipstick from Wet and Wild. That's my favorite. It's in 914C. It's my favorite nude lipstick. I love this lipstick like ah, uh, like anything. This is what I use. I don't want to do too much and just apply it on my lips and I'm gone see it's beautiful so all right thanks I thank you guys for watching I really appreciate you guys all right I'll talk to you all later bye